Hey, what's up you guys and welcome back to another episode of Chemical Guys Detail Garage. On today's video, we have this Kia right here next to me. The owner of this vehicle has been going up and down from LA to Santa Clarita and it's been collecting a lot of road dust and has a little bit of a grime. So today I'm going to be showing you guys a quick little alternate method of washing your car. You know, such as if you're on the go or you don't have time for a full-fledged wash, you can utilize a waterless wash such as Swift Wipe. Now Swift Wipe is an all-in-one complete waterless wash solution. Now this product, it's a full car wash in a bottle. So what it does is you spray it onto the surface. It's going to emulsify that light layer of dirt, debris, grime, and anything that's on there. It creates a nice slick surface so that it emulsifies that stuff. And then whenever you go ahead and wipe it with your microfiber towel, it wipes right off. Let me show you guys how easy it is to use. Now right here, we have this car. As you guys can see, someone wiped their finger through it. So you'll know that, you know, just from seeing that, you'll know that it's a light coat of dust, which in this case, Swift Wipe will work out perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and begin by spraying directly onto the surface. I'll start off right here in the fender, show you guys just how to use it. So check this out. You don't need to drench the surface. All you wanna do is make sure that you get a nice even coat. So once you get a nice even coat, you can grab your microfiber towels. Now, typically when it comes down to this, when I spray it, I like to give it about five to 10 seconds just to kind of pick up any kind of dirt and grime that's on the surface. Like I mentioned, this product does contain emulsifiers that pick up this stuff from the surface of your paint so that when you wipe it with your towel, it wipes into the towel instead of, you know, dragging along the paintwork. And that's definitely gonna help you out with, you know, preventing the chance of scratches and swirls happening whilst using a product like the waterless wash. And when you wipe, you wanna make sure that you roll your wrist as you wipe to prevent the chance of any kind of dirt lines happening on your towel. So what you don't want is to just go straight, put all your pressure onto your hand and just do one clean sweep because all that dirt is gonna accumulate on the fibers of the microfiber, creating a dirt border that's gonna drag along the paintwork. That's what we don't want. We want these microfiber strands to pick up that dirt and grime from the surface to get it off the surface so that we don't scratch it whilst we go along the paintwork. Now, another thing I like to do is have a separate dry microfiber towel. Now, I like to have a separate dry microfiber towel to just buff off any excess. This product does contain a sealant, so it may leave a little kind of like a, a film left behind. It's just a sealant formula, so all I have to do is buff it in with the dry microfiber towel and you're good to go. Before I get to that, I'm gonna finish up cleaning this panel. So I'm gonna mimic that same process. I'm gonna go and roll my wrist as I wipe. And then you always wanna make sure to inspect your towel as you're doing this process. You wanna make sure that the towel, the side of the towel that you're using doesn't get super gunked up with dirt and grime, but you know, just from doing those two wipes, it's not too bad, but this is pretty much about that point where you wanna go ahead and flip your towel. So now that I've flipped it, I'm gonna flip it to another side and then just continue with doing this lower portion right here. And same process, I'm gonna roll my wrist, roll my wrist, roll my wrist one more time. And I didn't really spray down here, so I'm just gonna quickly spray that right there. Give it about five seconds and then roll my wrist as, my, as I wipe one more time. Once you do that, you'll see kind of like a little film left behind and that's where your secondary dry microfiber towel is for. So you'll get your secondary dry microfiber towel and then we're just gonna buff off the excess. And check this out. You buff off any kind of remaining excess, any kind of grime you may have missed behind, picks it all up and it buffs in that layer of sealant, which that layer of sealant it's gonna go ahead and work onto the surface so that it protects it from the harsh UV rays. It gives it a nice deep shine and it also reinforces any type of protective coating that's on your paint, such as a sealant or wax or even ceramic coating. So that's how simple it is to use. All it is, it's a matter of a simple spray. Let that kind of pick up the loose dirt debris and then wipe and then just making sure that you're rolling your wrist as you're wiping and then picking up any excess with a dry microfiber towel. Now, the cool thing about Swift Wipe is that it doesn't just stop at paint. This stuff works on virtually all of your exterior surfaces. So if you guys join me down here, we have this wheel. I mean, check out these wheels. They are pretty, pretty bad. So one thing I do wanna mention is that these wheels, they have a gloss black finish to them. So we would wanna treat this just like as we would as if it were a regular paint. So same process with the wheels. You wanna grab your Swift Wipe and you wanna spray a nice fine coat onto the surface. And then in this case, since it's a little bit on the dirtier side, I'm just gonna spray just a tad bit more, nothing crazy. And then just like you're cleaning your wheels with the wheel brush or you know whatnot, we're gonna start off this process by cleaning the top and working our way down. So I'm gonna start right here on top. 
and you guys will see I'm just going to go ahead and wipe. Now on these wheels it's a little bit more tricky to kind of roll your wrist as you wipe so we're just going to do our best to kind of make sure that we roll our wrist as we're wiping on these spokes. So we can go we can do light quick little you know wipes like so and since it's kind of more precise here since it's not really the whole towel being utilized to clean these wheels we're only using sections at a time just because only sections of the towel actually are able to get onto the surface so i'm just going to kind of go around my towel on the same side just to make sure that i'm picking up as much dirt and grime as i can as you guys can see i'm just going to work my way around the towel and this is going to prevent me from having to use so many different towels just to clean up my wheels just like that very easily it works like a charm doesn't require any kind of tedious wheel brushes water you know this is something great that you can go ahead and utilize when you're on the road maybe you get to your car show and your wheels are absolutely caked with brake dust you know if you have a super high performance ride you want to make sure to have a bottle of water to swash in your car at all times so that you can take care of things like this on the fly so check out my towel you guys it got pretty filthy what i'm going to do now here i'll show you guys again kind of went a little too fast there i kind of jumped the gun I'm going to flip my towel around to another side just because I want to make sure that the towel is always clean whenever I wipe onto the surface. Another thing I do want to mention is that you want to make sure that your towel is always saturated. So since this side has no product on here, it's fully dry. I'm going to grab some more Swift Wipe, spray my towel just to get some extra cleaning power and more lubrication and continue this wheel cleaning process. All right, so now that I finished giving the first initial wipe with the Swift Wipe, I'm gonna return and wipe it all over again with my dry microfiber towel. So I got some dirt right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and flip it around just because remember, you wanna make sure that your towels are clean. So if you get any kind of dirt along the edges, you know, especially like if you miss something, then you wanna make sure that your towel is always clean. So always flip it whenever necessary and just come back, follow it up, buff off any excess of the cleaner, any kind of grime that you may have missed behind, and this is also, remember, buffing in that layer of sealant. So not only do we clean the wheels, it's gonna protect them from the harsh UV rays and any other things that wanna come in contact with these wheels. And check out those results, guys. They look amazing as compared to before when they were all filthy. As you guys saw, we didn't need any kind of intense scrubbing brushes as far as like, you know, to scrub the wheel because a lot of this stuff, like I mentioned, it was just dust. It was lightly on the surface. It wasn't baked on there. It hasn't been on there for years. And that's one of the very many benefits of maintaining your vehicle. So check it out, you guys. The wheel looks awesome. I know these tires can use some work. I'm not gonna go over the tires in this video. This was just more of a demonstrational video using the waterless wash. But to clean something like this, I can use like some nonsense with the nifty brush, give them all nice and scrubbed up, clean them off with the towel, apply some tire shine, and we've got ourselves a perfectly brand new wheel. So now that we've done the wheels, I'm going to show you guys some other cool things that you can use Swift Wipe Waterless Wash with. So I'm going to go ahead and grab some more clean towels and be back with you guys. So stay tuned. All right, guys, and that pretty much sums it up for Swift Wipe. As you guys saw, this thing is super cool, super versatile, and super convenient when it comes to cleaning your ride, maintaining shine, and maintaining your quarter protection all in one. So if you guys like this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up. If you guys want to go ahead and pick up your bottle of Swift Wipe, make sure to visit our website or your local detail garage store. As always, my name is Joey. This is Chemical Guys Detail Garage, and we'll see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.